As MVP, I am going to actually go over uh, Town Hall Level 5 attack strategy one more time before my Town Hall is upgraded. Um, so if we go into the uh, attack log here, uh, you're going to see three different attacks. We're going to go over this one. Well, we can go over two of them. Again, I lost here. I didn't mind losing because I ended up getting about 180,000 worth of loot. I'm not really too interested in trophies. They will come with time. One thing I have not spoken about too much is the clan castle. Once I hit level 6 and up, I will be trying to draw out the troops in the clan castle. When you're in a war, always try to draw out the troops in the clan castle. Um, because you can scout the actual person, find out how many troops they have in there. If you don't draw those troops out and first destroy them, those troops will just hack up your giants and it will be much, much more difficult. So, uh, starting in Town Hall Level 6 with my attack strategy, I'll be trying to see if anybody's in their Town Halls, trying to lure them away from their def defensive buildings and kill them before I put my Giants down. Anyway, let's start with this one here. What do we do? We have good loot, 127,000 here. Again, I'm putting my Giants down all in one location. I take out their cannon. I put down my wall breakers to actually open up the wall, make it a little easier for my guys to get through. Once the mortar is engaged with the actual giants, I put some uh, archers out to, to help take out that archer tower. Because if the mortar hits the archers, they're all going to be gone. I also then put another wall breaker in so it, it can help my giants get through to take out that mortar. Again, we don't want to just put down goblins or barbarians or archers when the mortar can come in and actually just destroy everybody. As he's going to do right here. Look at this. Boom. So much damage to so many units. Now, once the mortar is gone, I'm actually adding a bunch of different archers up here to try to attack that archer tower. I'll work through the actual outside gold mines and elixir collectors and help attack that archer tower. Um, my giants take care of it anyways, but as you can see, this was a very successful um, attack. I went through, I get my loot. Secondarily, we want to go and take a peek at another actual attack here. Let's look at this one here where I actually supposedly lost the attack. They had 110,000 um, elixir, 192,000 gold. So at this point in time, I want to get rid of, again, I'm getting rid of the mortar first. Once I get rid of the mortar, I'm trying to get rid of the actual wizard tower. Once I get rid of both of those, then I can start uh, using some of my other uh, units in order to collect all that, uh, all the loot I can. So I, I'm working through um, the actual walls with my giants. I'm going to get rid of this actual air defense so my giants don't plan on walking over here before they take care of something else. And then as you can see, I start putting my troops all around. Now, if these archer towers and cannons are engaged with my giants, I can start stealing as much of that loot as I can while I can. I didn't expect my giants to be able to get through all of those walls, but I want to get as much of the loot I could before they actually were, were taken out. So that was in general my plan there. Uh, level 5 fully upgraded army base. The mix of troops I like to use is I like to use, I think it's um, 6 uh, goblins, 28 archers, 3 wall breakers, and the rest of them are actual just uh, giants. It works out to a good number. Um, and as you can see, I got 49%. Actually, I think I, I quit because I actually want to lose trophies. And sometimes you want to lose trophies. Uh, it, it's a little counterintuitive. But the lower your trophy amount is, the your opponents will be weaker that you're attacking. And right now, all I'm trying to do is get loot. Uh, so I don't mind losing some trophies. Later on, I can get them back. It's not too difficult to do so. But I hope that gives you an idea. Again, the other thing you could do is see if, um, try to find out if somebody's in their clan castle, lure them away from all their defensive unit, units, and then blow them up, kill them in some, in some sort of force, uh, fashion. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do me a favor, like the page, because if you do, you'll be able to see what I put up um, more often than, uh, or actually quicker than if you don't like the page. Thanks, guys.